Hey guys, how's it going? So today I just want to show you off something cool. Now I know with this YouTube channel um, I've been very inactive and I do apologize for that but I've been busy with college among other things. Um, I also post mostly on other social media sites now. So YouTube is kind of, um, I kind of give it the backdoor treatment. I don't really post on there much anymore. But it's still an active channel and so for today's video I kind of have something special. I know I mainly post train videos and car videos, um, but I'm going to throw in some tech. So I've done a few tech videos in the past. I've done a video on a crappy um, camera, camcorder thingy, um, and I think that's pretty much it. But today I wanted to show you all this. So this right here, this is a MacBook Air. So everyone knows what the MacBook Air is. This particular one I bought off of eBay recently. Um, I'm not going to say how much it was, but it was pretty inexpensive. As you can see, this one's in pretty darn good shape. Usually these MacBook Airs are owned by college kids. I mean, I am a college kid myself, but I'm not going to buy a MacBook Air that was used by a college kid because those are usually destroyed. I mean, usually when you look at these MacBook Airs on eBay or whatever, you'll see that these corners are pretty destroyed. Now this one does have a little dent right there very tiny but it does have a little dent but usually when you see most of these online these corners are destroyed there's massive dents in there it just it just looks bad but as you can see this one's in pretty decent shape now this one's an early 2014 macbook air this is the 11.6 inch version so not the 13.3 this is the 11.6 inch um, and as far as the specs it's the base model so it has the intel core i5 processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM and a 128 gigabyte SSD. Um, so this is a pretty typical MacBook Air. Now, I'm not going to go into why I bought it. Um, I mean, simply short, I am a... <laughs> simply short. <laughs> Long story short, that's what I meant to say. I bought this Air because I am a college student. I'm used to using Chromebooks. I've used Chromebooks for most of the past couple of years. I, but I wanted to upgrade to something a bit nicer. Obviously, this is a huge upgrade. But the cool thing, though, about this MacBook Air, now this isn't actually the only Air I have. Um, I also have this. This is a 2013 MacBook Air, and this one has the Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, and 120 gigs of storage, but this is for another video. So mainly this 2013 Air is kind of like my primary laptop, um, and then more than likely this will be like my secondary laptop. But anyway, so what makes this thing cool? Um, and what makes this thing cool is when you uh, turn it on. So I'm going to open up the display. It's a very, it's a MacBook Air. You pretty much know what this looks like. Um, but here's the cool thing. So let's turn it on. I'll show you. Ah, oh, look at that. Now that looks different now, doesn't it? So I'm going to zoom in the camera a little bit. Probably have to turn up the brightness. And. Here you go. So turning up the brightness, uh, let me see how that looks. Okay, that does not look the best on camera. Um, but if you notice, this is not macOS Mojave. This is not the current macOS, I believe it's 10.14. If I go into about this Mac, um, okay, actually there's no, um, I thought there was like a show a serial number. That's why I put my finger there. But basically, if you can see, this thing is running Mac OS X 10.9.5. So yes, this came out in late 2013, I believe. And yes, this is the original firmware. It's the original OS that came with this laptop. I am not kidding. Um, this is obviously pretty, pretty big. Um, because usually, obviously, um, Apple is pretty aggressive with updates but yes, this is macOS Mavericks. This is 10.9.5. I'm not joking. This is the original firmware. It's the original OS that came with this laptop, and this one still has it. It has never been updated. And I could also probably say that this, safe to say, this thing's also pretty much never been used. Um, because if I go in here and take a look at the system information, move that over here. So, Because, you know, I don't want to expose any sensitive info here. If I go over to the power on a 2014 laptop, I mean, most of these MacBook Airs will have like 500, sometimes up to 1,000 cycles. This only has 106. 
So this thing is practically brand new. Um, I don't know the story. I got this on eBay from like an online pawn shop. I'm assuming whoever bought this in 2014 bought it, used it for a little bit. There are signs of where there are a few scratches on it. But for whatever reason, this thing must have just been sitting for a long time. Because that is pretty much, again, under 100, only 106 battery cycle counts. And it's still running Mac OS 10.9 Mavericks. Now, I did customize the dock down here. Um, this is now the dock came originally. Now, what's cool about this, especially if I go into the applications, is that this is the original. This is, I mean by original, this is the original like look to Mac OS X. Um, this has like the old 3D look to it. Um, and definitely, um, you could definitely see, especially when I open up some of these older apps. So I'm going to open up here uh, the photo booth. And as you could see, you know, obviously this, you know, these are some very old style apps. If I go into other, you can kind of see some of the other apps on here. Um, you know, QuickTime Player, T Grapher, DVD Player. I don't know why that's on here. This doesn't have a DVD player on it. Chess, Activity Monitor. So as you can see, this definitely has, this is old school Apple. You can see like the flatter, like not, not flatter. You have these 3D looks that looks, that obviously, you know, they look very, they pop out a lot. This is Game Center. And this kind of shows in a nutshell kind of how old fashioned this looks. Just look at these, you know, old fashioned looking graphics. Um, so continuing on, um, let's look at Safari. And this is running Safari 9.1.3. I do apologize if it's a little hard to see. But as you can see, this is definitely the old school version of Safari. And so I guess one question, oh yeah, just show off real quick. This does have a, obviously a backlit keyboard on it. So I guess one question that you might have is, is this usable? Is Mac OS 10.9, uh, 10.9.5, you know, whatever, Mavericks, however you want to call it, is this OS still usable in 2019? And the short answer is yes, for the most part. Now, I did not download any apps from the Apple Mac store because I'm not sure if it would work. And also because since this is an older system, I don't really want to put in my Apple ID into this guy. But, um, but I will say this. Safari, even though it's outdated, Safari does work. Um... It depends, though. Sometimes it takes a while for it to load websites, but if I say want to go to Google.com, it's instant. So for basic web browsing, I'm going to go to the National Hurricane Center. Um, as you can see, web browsing on this guy is snappy. But some websites, some more complicated modern sites, they don't really load that much. Um, so let's try out the Atlantic um, political site, obviously. Um, here we go. So, let's see, is this thing load up quickly? Okay, yes, this loads up pretty quickly. Now we're going to load up another uh, political site called uh, The Daily Wire. Obviously, if you know politics, if you got a left-wing political site here, now we're going to do a, more or less a right-wing political site. And as you can see, it is struggling to load this. So, if you can see, the, the bar is kind of stuck. And it kind of shows that um, some websites, yeah, this won't load. Oh, maybe got some action. But as you can see... It's having a hard time, and this goes for other websites. Let's try out CNN. The CNN load on this guy, it's struggling. So some web what some websites will work with Safari, others like, as you can see, others they either won't work or they take a really long time to load. Um, so yeah, Safari is kind of usable. When it comes to Google Chrome, it won't work. Google Chrome requires 10.10. Uh, it does not work on 10.9. You can download it, but it'll be an older version of Chrome that is not supported. So Chrome is pretty much unusable, and from what I've read, um, Opera is also unusable. But but one thing that does work is Mozilla Firefox. So Mozilla Firefox does work. Um, it's fully up to date, as you can see. It works perfectly as I go to different websites. So if I load um, CNN on this website... As you can see, it loads perfectly, pretty much. Um, it works. And looking on Firefox's website will actually say that it supports macOS 10.9 or newer. So for right now, if you have 10.9 for whatever reason on your Mac, 
Firefox will fully work on it, at least until October. October is when Apple put out their next OS, and I'm not sure whether Firefox will drop support. I'm going to probably say they probably will. But for right now, you if you have macOS 10.9 for some reason on your MacBook or whatever, your iMac, you can use Firefox. Firefox works. It's fully up to date, fully secure, that sort of thing. Now, as far as other applications, I have downloaded three because for my daily workload, I have I usually download Google Chrome, uh, Google Drive, which is known as Backup and Sync. Um, that's pretty among some other stuff. Um, but as you can see, I was able to put in three apps. I was able to download Firefox. That works. I have Dropbox. That works. And Skype. Um, so those apps all work. I tried doing uh, Google's Backup and Sync, but it said it wouldn't work. It wasn't supported. Again, you can't download Chrome. So what you can do on this machine is pretty limited. In all honesty, it is kind of limited. But is it usable? Yes, it is usable. Mac OS 10.9 is usable. It works. Um, as for the laptop itself, it does work too. My only issue is that this space bar, um, it's not the most clicky. It's a little mushy. But just pressing on it a lot kind of makes it more springy. But, as you can see though, this guy is usable. Not by much, but it's usable. And I guess, before I end the video, I'll show off your dashboards. You have your old school calculator, uh, weather, clock, and calendar. So, but yeah. So, anywho, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, definitely a very cool find. Uh, after this, I probably will update it. I will probably will reset this and update it with Mojave because, at least for me... For me, at least, while this does work, it is pretty limiting. Um, but if you're someone who really likes this older look of Mac, if you don't like the new flatter look, um, then this guy, I, I am proud to say, it is usable. Not by much, but it is usable. So, anywho, uh, thanks for watching. Um, have a good one, every guy, everyone. <laughs> I just messed up again. <laughs> have a good day, everyone. There you go. Now I got it.